in the backwoods of Indonesia is just a you know stamped mud floor and they're all human scales in, and, and that's what it is so suddenly they think that you know the aura the, the, you know it should be something symbolic big and high and so on like this like the cathedral why can't it be as big as cathedral not only that they embellish it with gold leaf everything else you go to mecca and yet the religions say islam is a symbol you got to dress simply everything they are in a way egalitarian society that's islam there's no higher and lower but we're not following islam yeah, in the true sense even the prophet was just a simple you know, rectangular. very simple and that is also his house yes very simple it can be simple and yet we are different thing because we are different different way of together in some way we went to the wayside of it i mean even we go to the yes i don't know how to say that you know even we go to the great mosque sometimes the king the dignitaries will be in front they are not supposed to this is the place that everybody is equal it's just like in mecca that's why this disrupt you just where you know unshorn white that's what it is and yet they can separating that outside of the car <laughs> yes that's what we can do yes i think uh, that was giving a slide uh, show on uh, on the tabu hangi and the monica so we feel a monica to for the third question being to ask the second question just now yeah. i'd like to uh, read my, my third question uh, modern architecture history and philosophy has many moralistic values such as the functionalist forms follows function instead of form following past typology then there is also the rationalist idea of less is more with emphasis that the construction and structure as part of the aesthetic in my theory class the thing as Shazwan has learned i teach the idea that many of these principles of architecture actually came from moral principle and moral principle uh, because of western architecture is from the christian principle so moral principle Uh, can govern the idea of architecture in that sense. So there was also the criticism of ornament as mere building decoration and a more integral form of ornament and structure should occur like the art nouveau and art deco meaning that uh, there was a question about morally how do you do ornaments? Do you just copy it from somewhere and put it there or, or there's another way of, of looking at it? So the modernist expression of the Jeddah Hajj Terminal by Fazlur Rahman of Skidmore Orange in Meru is said by many to be one of the best expressions of contemporary and progressive Islamic architecture. So do you think Islamic architecture can derive the new expression based on a similar value construct as the modernist? What I'm trying to say here is that if modern architecture came from the moral values of first of all Christianity and later on socialism and communism, and because Islam also has their own set of moral values, can we therefore not rethink Islamic architecture directly from the moral values rather than the historical typology that yes of course there's the evolution of mankind architecture is has you know history of architecture they got the movement from one moment to you know uh, to the others ended up with uh, independence uh, democracy and then they get away from the bourgeois as you know renaissance and so on there's all kind of kingly spirits and so on then it become a common ground that democracy and with democracy they say less is more you get a strip of what is embarrassment is not necessary because the people cannot afford that anymore because building at the time are meant for aristocratic but today's buildings are meant for people so people cannot afford all kind of that that's the moral value of that strip of all that unnecessary yeah uh, that's what the, the teaching of but of course then we have the age of individualism you know starting from whether it's Bauhaus whether it's Frank Gehry and so on that's like an artist and I'm an artist I've got my niche this is the way I do you want my kind of art then I, I give you that kind of art but on general thing I think we got to look at the new perspective of doing things of course one has moral value is all the same in a way goods are goods and bads are bad in it there's no in between in that um 
And therefore, if you apply for the new kind of Islamic architectures, you can follow that because we already have the principle of that, what you can use, what you can't. Um, uh, the guiding principles in, in some way, for example, uh, we cannot use a painting of animal, uh, reflection of animals or, or human beings and so on, that's why we don't have that. But you have a lot of geometrical shapes that you are allowed to, to do that. So that's one constraint more or less. But that constraint can be used as an artistic kind of approach. That's one approach. Simplicity, as you say, it got to be simple. Can a, a building look simple? Yes, you can look simple. Strip off everything else, it looks simple. Yes, it can. And something pure, can it be pure? Yes. Find a ground that says pure, because it's, the color white is pure. A building that is very uh, organic in a way is pure. It's not adulterated, putting two elements together more or less, if you want to think in that sense. Yeah? That's organically, it's pure. A brick is brick. Brick is really not pure in that sense, but brick has been compressed yeah, by clay. But if you look at the material like let's say it's like wood, it's, it's pure wood it's not adulterated become composite wood or become plywood or things like that I mean if you want to, have, to go into that strictest sense yes the approach can be completely new if one dare to, to, to do it the technology we cannot put aside the technology is what we have to do but then the moral value you can put it as the exercise to, to solve your problem and maybe you marry it with also your, with your culture. Uh, don't forget your culture. The culture can enhance the value of um, any architecture from the beginning of history. It has been like that from the Egyptian period to the Greek to the old throughout. has been like that until today. Of course, the language of today is universal language, homogeneous. Everybody seems to be the same, dressed the same, in the same, except it's different source, probably. Okay, uh, do you have any feedback before the talk? Uh, we'll be giving this uh, slide. Anything to put on your table? Okay, which one do you want to put on first? I don't know. Uh, is it the one I just said? Yes. Okay, put on. Thank you. Shoot this one. Really? Yes. Uh, maybe it's, it's not necessary. Yes. Just have a magic word. Have a magic. The concept is the same, more or less, but this is more cultural than than uh, the, this one. Yes. Okay. When they ask me to do the table magic, because it's it's kind of you know, delightful history. Uh, they are orthodox people, the, the board of directors. And when they asked me to do this, and, and they said they want a new rights for the religion, more or less, for the Islam. They wanted something new. And that, then I thought, well, what a good way to, to ask. And something different in a way, and yet they want to reflect the management, because Tabung Haji is a management bank, you know, for those people, saving bank for those people to go to Hajj, to perform their Hajj. So this is the headquarters. So it's, it's a chance for you to go backwards and saying, let's analyze what is the religion. The religion, as I mentioned before, is Islam is one, oneness with God. That gives you some kind of idea, you know. Uh, I'm searching for idea when I do this. So, symbolically, not going to be two building or anything, just one, just. It got to be simple, simple in shapes. So you try to find out simple in shape. What can you use again is geometry. Use geometry in that way, how you can use it. In structure, in whatever it is, in a technique. But you don't want to use it as an embellishment. That's not today's architecture. Simplicity. It's got to be simple, 
got to be pure, white to reflect pureness. And so you, you depict these kind of fundamentals of Islam. And it's not to be, you know... So once you get that, you start designing it. So you've got to be functional, of course. Otherwise, you won't pay for it. So in the beginning, you say, okay, to be simple is you've got to do one structure. And the most economical is really, is square. Okay, that's the beginning of it. So how many type, typology of square building or multi-story can you do? Many types. So you find out what is the best type. So you say, okay, now I got to solve it or determine by have a center, center core. And then you find what other shape can you do? Okay, maybe it's round, it's still geometry. Right. Then you, you figure out that's what it is. So you do that. You have center core. What else can you express, you think? Okay, I can design a structure like this by having columnless. Of course, that is what is good for office building. No column in the center at all. Can you do it? Yes. You have what we call um, columns on the outside, Malian columns. So those are Malian columns. Uh, what about, you know, this hideous thing called a handling unit? Today, you don't have to get a handling unit. In my time, you have to put a handling unit. And a handling unit, impossible, got to be outside the building. So, as you solve the problem and you analyze the, the beginning of what it is, and you say, okay, then I got to put it outside. So you can see that the bulging part on the outside of the column there, on the circumference there, there are five. So why not, why five? And I told myself, why not five? That symbolize the five principles of Islam. So it has a connotation for it. You don't do it for the sake of doing it. If you think you can apply it into the religion, why not? Because you students later on will analyze this. And then you say, what is he just doing? It's all a humble, you know. But at least I'm trying to do structurally possible. Structurally, you know, approachable. And that's how the beginning is. Of course, you can do a circular building, just go up. And I look at it, it's not as exciting. You know, it's not as uh, attracting and so on. So I, I, we have done a lot of the circular building of different sizes and different proportion because remember in architecture you also got to apply the knowledge or the fundamental knowledge of you know shape and size and so on so in the end we pick up three model there in the center you can see that the different shape of circular building and then we find out one to the extreme little bit in between that is the best one and that's what come about on the left so he, he has a waist, like a woman waist, how attractive it is, you know, it's a, an exciting in, in a way. Then it becomes a fundamental thing again, how can you do this car park sensor? Normally, we put the car park if on the ground, on the, under the basement, it got to be very expensive. And the area may not allow it, so we put it on the top. So once you put it on the top, it becomes a little bit ugly. You know, as you can see around here at the moment, every car park, and then you have building that what you call the podium and the building on top. So we want it to look like one, as I say, oneness in God. So you have a circular car park below, still columnless, and it has to be bigger at the bottom because to look like a tree trunk coming up because structurally it requires that. And this is how it comes about. As we go along, uh, everything has that. And the engineer require that too. For example, uh, uh, you know, how to span the building between the two, you know, you have a center core. So it looks like a spoke of a wheel or bicycle. So the spoke coming out, and that is the, um, that is the beam to carry by the Malian outside. So structurally, you know, you, you put them together. 
It's not a gimmick anymore. It is real structure. A structure required. <coughs> but other, other than that, constructionally, it's any some difficulty. Of course, that we make it simple. Always trying to make it simple. So these, um, well, the support like radio beam, they are some are shorter and longer. It's easy enough. We all make the form work longer. The shorter one, we cut it and strengthen it. So that's all, in a way, engineering. We have great engineer for this, for this job. And also what, what to do uh, below it. We don't want all those uh, Malian to come up like a stick around it. We want to free it. And you go down right on the ground, there are only five main pillars. And they, they are not only pillars. And you take it, reinterpret or reinvent of the arches into Melan Bridge. Melan is one of the great bridge engineer, MA. I L L A R T, and I took it from that. The lesson from that it is like a bridge structure. Can I go? No, I can't. Okay. It's a brick brick structures over here, like a mallard building, and the whole lot, the whole thing is sit on this podium. What they call transfer beam. Practically, this is engineering. The whole lot is engineering. And then this can be lower, and and the car park is a circle. As you go on circle, you park and go down the same thing. So that's, that's how it's all come about, from the big one there to the tallest one. And here, in some part is smaller, and the car park from all around here. This is the five ASU unit, air handling unit is called. And, and you free the whole lot below. You know, the whole lot, if you go there, you have a sense that it's of serenity. You go there, there's nothing here, except the call to go up. All the things that require shops, uh, you know, by ticketing and so on, you go on the ground below, can't be seen. And then they say they want a mosque. I say, well, I can put the moss right on top. No, 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 no. They want the moss also so that the people from outside can come in. That's what the surah, they call it. That's what it's all about. Not only for them, but for the people from outside, the wayfarers. So we have to do one moss there, right in the corner. The rest is nothing, just open space. So that's how it come about. Thanks. Here you are, you have this wasted then. As you design this, you create your own problem. Many problems they do. And this is what I say, exciting part of it. You know, this is really architects earnest living. Because it's just not taking one in the drawer and, and sell it. No, you've got to think all over. This wasted thing is one to build it, I resolve that. You can shorten it as you go along. It's all prefabricated, not a, not a problem. And the, the pillars, as I said, the five, one, two, you can see three or five. There you can see there. And all open space inside it. That's uh, the other things. Sure.